What's going on? Frozen CPU. I get a lot of questions from customers about radiators. Should I buy a thick radiator? Even if I can fit one, should I get a thin one? Uh, aren't the thick ones better? Why would you get a thin radiator unless you need one? Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about why or why not you should buy a thick or thin radiator and the actual differences. Stay tuned. So here's an example of three different common radiator sizes. Yes, I know this one is dusty. It is used. Anyway, um, we have a thick red here. This is about a 60 mil thick. Over here we're looking at your more standard kind of 30 to 35 inch range. And then right here we have one of my personal favorites. These are the new XSPC, uh, I think it's the TX, and they're about 25 mil thick. Okay. Now. Aside from the obvious reasons of space concerns, uh, depending on your case, you may not be able to fit a 60 mil thick red. If you have a case that's not particularly designed for water cooling, you may have to go down to something incredibly thin. But what are the real differences? One of the most important factors is going to be the fin density of the red you're looking at. Now, as a general rule of thumb, the thicker radiators usually have thinner fin density. When I say fin density, I'm referring to the actual amount of FPI, which is how many fins you get per inch on this radiator. All right, this is a standard fin array. This is here is what you would call a split fin array. Uh, as you can see, there's a split down the middle and there's double the fins, all right. Right here, I have the 60 mil thick red, and as you can see, my hand right through it, it's a thick red, and there's a lot of core density, however the fin density is low. So if this was the same thickness as this radiator, all right, uh, this radiator would get much better performance because as you can see the fins are much denser compared to this guy. All right, What are the advantages to this? Well. The higher the fin density that you have, um, the more likelihood you are to build up dust. All right, That may not be a concern to some people, but it is a lot harder to blow the dust out of a radiator like this than it would be a radiator like this. So dust is clearly not the only concern for why you would want low fin density, maybe a medium fin density or a high fin density or a thick, thin or medium red. Obviously, we're looking at thermal performance. The first thing you would say looking at a rad like this is, wow, that's going to have much better performance than a radiator like this, or better yet, a radiator like this. Well, the fact is, folks, that that is not always true. The lower fin density um, is going to allow air to rush through it more effectively. However, these high fin densities are going to make much better use of the air. These are going to dissipate heat much more effectively uh, per the amount of radiator core you have. So, in the case of these two radiators, now, in this case, the red on the left is about double the thickness of the red on the right. If you close that gap a little bit, the XSPC EX having a higher pin density than uh, this Magicool radiator, usually um, the size difference would, for the most part, cancel each other out. All right, it would really come down to noise. Higher fin density is also much noisier than low fin density, which I will demonstrate for you. But when looking for a radiator in terms of thick or thin, look at the fin densities. If you can fit a big, fat, thick radiator, see if you can find one with fin density as high as some of the thinner reds out there. That is going to be how to maximize your thermal dissipation. But for the most part, get the red that will fit in your case. You also got to worry about future proofing. 
if you can fit this huge radiator in your case right now, but maybe down the road you'll end up with a different case that doesn't have the clearance, perhaps you want to go with a more of a standard size radiator. Or if you have something like a one of those cases that aren't really designed for water cooling, I have been able to fit these XS PC TX reds into cases that normally you would have no space for a radiator in. Alright, let's have a listen to the different sounds of a fan blowing through these three reds and see how loud they are. So anyway, hopefully you're able to hear the difference uh, with some of those fin densities on those radiators. Alright, so keep that into consideration. Do I want a thick red or a thin red? You know, noise, dust, space, am I ever going to use a different case? All that stuff. Anyway, it's been Max here, Frozen CPU. Thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions, comments, and concerns, please leave them down below. And uh, we moved. Please have a look at our new address. And have a great day.